Hey friends, let's today do together 2001 Dodge Cummins fuel filter change. I have it all ready here, all my tools and the step together in the engine. I have ready a bunch of racks, new filter, containers to catch the fuel, the wrenches, crescent, adjustable wrenches and some gloves to protect my hands. So what we will do? This is the fuel filter housing. This is the area where it is, where you find it. And we need to open the top, remove the filter, replace it with new one, put it back, blend the system, uh, air out of the system and uh, start the truck and use it again with the new filter. So what is the first step? First we will get rid of the fuel which is in the filter housing, in that big filter housing. So I grab my catching container and put it underneath the filter. This is in my case you normally have this is the drain valve and you have the rubber hose which leaves from here and goes under the truck so you will be catching it there my rubber hose completely deteriorated so i will do it this way so how to drain the fuel i'm supposed to lift this lever and it should drain all the fuel which is in the fuel filter so far it's happening and it's working good so this is perfect. I'm using biodiesel, that's one of the main reasons why I purchased this truck for running biodiesel here on Maui, Hawaii. The entire biodiesel is made out of the used cooking oil. So before all that stuff was thrown away, it was ending up in dump. And today the company which uh, does this biodiesel here they are perfectly recycling it, so this is main reason. Of course the biodiesel is bad for all paint and hoses and all the stuff which is which it, it, it will touch, so um, you want to clean everything after, after these jobs, everything, every spill you have to clean off. So it's still flowing, surprised that it's so much there kind of weird anyway it's all clean and I think for our our operation that's enough so I will shut it off now I use the crescent wrenches adjustable wrenches because I didn't have a, such a big socket for this area here so I use these wrenches and I already undo it it was very tight Definitely use the gloves that you don't cut your hands and bust your ankles, knuckles. And um, it, it took some time, so I wanted to save your time just watching me and swearing here. So this is finally loose and I can take it out. This is the top and I will carefully remove it. Let's see what will happen. I never did it, so it's the same surprise. For me, like probably for you. And look at this. This filter is really dirty. Really, really dirty. Now, let's put it right here. This container. And let's see how it is. It's very dirty. This is the new one filter which I bought from Napa. Let's compare them. So this is the old one, it's really black. And look, this is the new one. Now pay attention to the installation, how it is installed. The whole filter has two different sides. This is the hole, so this will be the hole, right? Hole, hole. The other one has no hole, so this is the top, obviously. So it's being held inside by these clips. So I remove these clips 
this is the clips which held it there and I installed a new one before I will do that I will replace the o-ring which is actually missing oh no this is the old one this is the old o-ring which fell off and I will put a new one from here from the box so this is the o-ring how do I inspect? let's go and inspect what is inside of the filter so I'm looking inside there's a lot of fuel this is the fuel heater which I cannot remove actually and I was hoping I will be able to clean the bottom but I don't think we can get there still too much fuel left and I actually don't see any dirt there I have enough light it's pretty clean there so yeah let, let's put the filter back I will first do a little cleaning with the rack the area where it sits Make sure it's nice and clean we will install correctly the new filter so we said this is the hole goes down so this is the top it will clip in the little holders it's there and this is the new filter with the new o-ring which is right here just make sure it's in the right groove yep. let's put it back okay this is super cool the crescent wrench don't definitely don't over tie it I believe somebody who closed it last time totally totally over tied it it's way too much and there's not much space here so if you had a big socket with extension it will be way easier but I didn't have here my big sockets are back at work I didn't have the big ones here so I just have to use this crescent and as I said don't over tight it there's no reason to do it too much it should be definitely enough because the o-ring is the one which seals the whole thing so make sure that draining valve is closed everything is cool here and now we are not done yet because we have a lot of air in that filter if we will have air pushing through the fuel system the air will enter injection pump it's a diesel engine so it has a high pressure injection pump it will enter the injection pump this model 2001 the pump is not self priming so it will cause the problem the engine will not run you will have to crack open injectors and get rid of the air so what we will do we will prime the system remove everything from the engine area put it away really quickly and let's go and prime the system how we will do that we need the lift pump which is in my case in the tank uh, normally it's hidden here behind the, the fuel filter housing there is the lift pump normally we need to make it run and fill out the whole system